Welcome back to the David Packman Show. Make sure to check out the We Survive Bush, You Will Survive Obama page on Facebook, and welcome to all of their viewers as well. There were a bunch of astronomers who went on a kind of fishing expedition looking for neutron stars, and they found something really unexpected in the sky. And this was a sky sweep conducted by the Parkes Radio Telescope in New South Wales, Australia. And they they spotted a really powerful signal. It lasted only a few milliseconds. Could have been a fluke initially, but then the team found three more similar pulses and they were um, far removed from the galactic plane. They came from different points in the sky. Later, they did an analysis and it turned out that unlike most cosmic radio signals, which start somewhere in the Milky Way or in a nearby galaxy, that these four pulses came from somewhere well beyond our galaxy or even one that's nearby. And whatever triggered these outbursts has come and gone. The signals were detected between February of 2011 and January of 2012. What we know, and this is just unbelievable, is that in a few milliseconds, each of the signals that were released carried about as much energy as the sun emits in 300,000 years. The idea of how much energy is there, Lewis, I, it, it's almost inconceivable for, for mere humans to think about in any kind of clear way. Yeah, and I know what some people are starting to think here. Was this some other, uh, you know, intelligence that created this type of thing? Uh, but if it's that powerful, I find it hard to believe that that's the case. Yeah, no, there are no hypotheses right now that are that this is life from somewhere else. But along those lines, do you think that someday during your life that will happen where you are just sitting there and the news comes on and it says we've gotten a message from from an alien species and we now are in contact with people from from somewhere else in the universe? Do you think you'll live to see that? I doubt it, but I hope so. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I certainly I have no reason to be confident that I will live to see that. What do you think? Send us your thoughts. David at davidpackman.com.